Hi there, my name is John Stevens, pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA, and welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where we take a look at the lectionary text and we tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the 24th Sunday after Pentecost, and we're getting close to the end of the church year, and um, and that's really kind of what I want to talk about is, is coming uh, end of things, when we come to the end of certain things. And the texts really just cry out end times, that we're near the end. And, and uh, when we're near the end, uh, a lot of times we'll talk about saying goodbye. And um, as it's been pointed out, we spend about 80% of our lives learning how to say hello, and only a very few few a little um, a little bit learning how to say goodbye and that's really hard for us and and so when we get to the end of things it can really feel awkward and strange and and so um, the item I'm going to use from the Dollar Tree is a book and I'm going to get uh, um, finding um, there's a couple of you know they have children's books children's books there and um, so if you want to go the Dollar Tree route that's um that's where I'd go just um, a book that has um, that is a kid-based book to where you can talk about how when you got to the, you know, when you get to the end that it's like, I mean, because I, I don't like getting to the end of things. And um, it's, and so I, because I, I have to say goodbye to certain characters and, and that. So there's that. The other way, um, the other thing, and this is available on Amazon Prime, so you can get it very fast, but if you don't have it or you can't check it out of the library, a way, another direction, it's still a book, but it's, um, the monster at the end of the book, and um, it is uh, Grover, a monster at the end of the book, and it is wonderful. It is uh, you can look it up on Amazon. The monster at the end of the book, and it's it's about how every page you turn says, "No, don't turn the page anymore. You're gonna see the monster at the end of the book," and um, and it's all about that the end and about finding the monster at the end and about how ends endings can seem scary. And you get to the end of the book, and with a monster, silly, silly, the monster's Grover, and that is so silly. Um, but that how in Christ, um, I, in when we look at the end of things, the end of the church year, and things like that, that that Christ is our hope, and in, the, in there, and we're not talking necessarily about, um, we're not talking about the uh, end of life, though you can. I mean, we have there's the cycle of life, and kids. Uh, know that you know they've either had a grandparent that's died or you know, things like that. But this idea that in Christ um, uh, we we rest secure in everything. That Christ sits with us in the joys and also sits with us in the sorrow. And so that ends uh, the end of things is also the mark of a beginning of something else. And, but I love this book, The Monster at the End of the Book, that how he really gets at how the end can be scary. And the kids know it, and we know it. The end can be scary. Um, but in that, that, um, that the end doesn't always have to be scary, or that sometimes we're more afraid before we get to there. But in Christ, we have our hope. And in Christ, um, uh, we are... Uh, future rests secure you know and and this is this is language that I wouldn't use necessarily use with the kids but but the idea that Jesus walks with us and that um, that that um, the endings don't have to be as scary but even when they are scary God says I will be with you and that's the important thing to not downplay it and say endings you know, when we say goodbye, when things end, um, it should all be okay. Well, I mean, that's scary and that's hard stuff. So to, to say, even when we are afraid, uh, God wraps God's arms around us and holds us close and walks with us. So that's the direction I'm going, looking at the ending of things, but that in that, um, the promise of Jesus, that Jesus will not abandon us, will not leave us, will not let us alone, um, is secure. So, all right, I hope that can be a springboard for your own thinking um, as you uh, look at the Sunday and look at what your children's sermon will be. As always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you have a fantastic week.